Never win a football match playing the last bloody ten minutes defending. Yeah, right. It's as simple as that. As soon as Gerrard scored, you couldn't see Liverpool attacking again. Just said, put five across the middle and took off the two strikers and put Except Kite up front. It's a joke. Um, the substitutions were far too late. And the game is as important as this. We have to keep winning and we put the pressure on Manchester United. And for, them to and like, for us to turn around and let them away with it. We let them away with it. Late goal cost us again, isn't it? You know what I mean? It's going to cost us league. We carry on doing this, you know what I mean? Alonso, Gerard controlled it, but Robbie Kane from Ireland's not doing it for us these days. Benitez has lost the plot a little bit. They all blame the manager. There's 11 players on the field. What are they doing? Get stuck in. You don't have to listen to the manager all the time. It's like the conductor on a train. He's not driving it, is he? <laughs> Some very strong words coming out of um, Anfield tonight. We've got loads and loads of emails as well, so thank you very much for all of those. I'm just going to run through a couple of them and pick out the best bits. Maya, a very frustrated Liverpool fan, says, Rafa needs to go. He picks the right time to destabilise the teams. We are the laughing stock of the Premier League. Tactically, the guy's useless. There's no plan B when things go wrong. Paul Hallam says, as a Liverpool fan for 42 years, I can definitely say Liverpool will never win the title under Benitez. He's just far too negative and defensive. We've seen it for the past four years. It is the reason why we have too many draws. That's from Paul Hallam. John right. uh, in California. Hello, John, in Discovery Bay in California. As a Liverpool fan, I can believe we have just thrown away two more points at home again when we should be winning these games at home, even though we're still near the top. I think we will have to improve and win the big games coming up against Man United, Chelsea, Arsenal and Villa, and there's still a long way to go. You've got some more there, James? Well, indeed, there's, there's, there's hundreds of them we could read out, but uh, Rafa presses the self-destruct button, taking off both strikers, adding the squad, a player, Ben Yoon, and a very poor Lucas Lever, says Stephen Wilson. I know, Stan, you'll agree with that one. But uh, Adam says, uh, listen, the Everton team deserve enormous credit.